Your ego is one of the most formidable enemies that often stands in the way of your success and fulfillment. The ego, an inflated sense of self-importance, can blind you to your weaknesses, hinder your progress, and prevent you from reaching your true potential. The ego represents the self-identity you construct based on your desires, fears, and attachments. It creates a separation between yourself and others, fueling comparison, judgment, and a constant need for validation. Eckhart Tolle said, Your ego is your self-image created and maintained by your mind. When your ego takes control, you become resistant to feedback and constructive criticism. Your ego hurts relationships, family, society, and most importantly, yourself. At the core of the ego lies the illusion of separation. It makes you believe that you are separate entities, disconnected from one another and the world around you. This belief fuels a relentless pursuit of personal gain and superiority, which leads to conflicts, unhappiness, and a sense of emptiness. To release the ego's hold, you must realize that you are interconnected beings, part of the vast universe of life. This awareness allows you to shift your focus from me to we, my friend, to cultivate a sense of interconnectedness in your daily life. Do these engage in acts of kindness, volunteer your time, or offer a listening ear to someone in need. By extending yourself beyond your ego's boundaries, you will discover the joy of connection and dissolve the illusion of separation. Holding on to your egos comes at a great cost. It breeds negativity and limits personal growth. The need to be right to control outcomes and to seek external validation can leave you feeling trapped, anxious, and disconnected from your true self. John O'Donoghue said the ego is the false self. Born out of fear and defensiveness, the ego thrives on control. It fears uncertainty and resists change. It clings to outcomes, people, and situations, believing that it can orchestrate and manipulate every aspect of life. However, this constant need for control only creates anxiety and limits your capacity to experience true freedom and inner peace. To release the ego's grip, you must learn to surrender and trust in the natural flow of life. Imagine being caught in a turbulent river, desperately trying to swim against the current. Exhausted and overwhelmed, you finally surrender to the river's force and allow it to carry you. In that moment of surrender, you experience a profound sense of relief and trust. The river becomes your ally rather than your adversary. Observe how your ego resists or clings to situations. Cultivate an attitude of acceptance and trust in the unfolding of life. Remind yourself that true power lies in surrendering to what is rather than struggling against it. Attachment is a key mechanism through which the ego seeks security and validation. You attach itself to people, possessions, and identities, falsely believing that they define your worth and provide lasting happiness. However, attachment chains you to a perpetual cycle of longing and disappointment. To find true inner peace, you must release attachment and embrace the inherent impermanence of life. Everything in this world is subject to change. Just as the seasons change, people and circumstances evolve, and resisting this reality only leads to suffering. When you cling to attachments, be it material possessions, relationships, or even your self-image, you set yourself up for disappointment and heartache when these attachments inevitably shift or fade away. By cultivating a mindset of impermanence, you learn to appreciate the present moment and detach yourself from outcomes. This doesn't mean that you become indifferent or disengaged. Rather, you learn to cherish the beauty of each experience without clinging to it. You become like the lotus flower blooming in muddy waters, 
fully present and aware of the transient nature of life. Engage in activities that ground you in the present moment, such as meditation, yoga, or observing nature. Cultivate an attitude of curiosity and wonder towards the ever-changing nature of life. Embrace impermanence as a teacher, reminding you to cherish each moment and find joy in the dance of transformation. Remember, the journey towards greatness begins when you let go of your ego and embrace the transformative power of humility. C.S. Lewis said, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Also, Rumi said, Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. It's all within you, my friend. I hope you will be able to conquer your ego someday, and I wish you all the best in life. If you like this, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.